Hey, this is Mark, Mark Kukowski at markgps.com. And today we're gonna to look at 810 East Paseo El Mirador. This is a three bedroom, two bath home. It is 1729 square feet, listed at a million 395 by the Brady Sandall team. And I wanna do a shout out to Brady Sandall's team, which A, they're great. And B, thank you so much for letting us get in here and do a video. It is so useful to be allowed to take these videos for my clients who are out of town. We're here on Mel, uh, that is Desert Regional there at the end of the street. And this is not a through street, there's some traffic. It does have a yellow line. I don't actually think that this is where we're going to have um, ambulances because they're gonna go in a different direction. Anyhow, let's go in and take a look and see the inside of this cute little place. All right, I'm here at the front door. I've got the house to my back and just showing you the front area. There's ample parking here in the front. There's a whole pull-in. And then if you go around to the side, uh, you go along the house uh, to that side over there and you will go to the garage. I think the garage was added. I believe that the bedroom that is off of the kitchen used to be a one-car garage for this house. We'll take a look at that. But here's the entry. As you come in, you go straight through to a very large vaulted room, which is set up as a nice, generous dining room. Uh, then you have a smaller, more intimate living room on this side, which is really quite cute with doors going outside. Two bedrooms on the east side of this home, and uh, and then we have the kitchen. So let me just do a quick look here at the living room. Eight foot ceilings. Uh, this was probably the original living room, I would absolutely think. Uh, it's cute. It's got a nice layout. Uh, yeah, this is completely staged. What's nice about this is it does go outside from here and there's a kind of an overhang, so it's not direct sun. And then there is a large area that is covered by a wood, uh, a wood area. And just, it's really nice. It's great for sitting. And then we have this ginormous outside pool. This is really lovely. One thing about the homes here on Mel is they have good sized lots. They're doing some work behind us. I don't know what they're doing on that house, but there's always construction here because these homes are often updated. There's the garage, which I do believe was added later. And um, I guess I should come over here and show you that the view is really nice from outside. Um, one of the things about the house is it doesn't really take advantage of the view from the inside, but that's okay. I'm gonna go ahead and just walk along here. Hey, Mark, markgps.com if you've got questions about real estate. I'm gonna come in through the doors that are to the vaulted space that is set up as a really nice large dining room. Uh, there's the door where I came in and the wall where the blue chairs are. That's the side where I went to the living room. So you can see that this has a nice flow. You can go in and out. It'd be great for entertaining. As I come around to the side, uh, that closet there is where the hot water heater and the AC is located. And then as I come here towards the entranceway, we're going to see the kitchen. The kitchen goes through to what I think was a one car garage. And that is now a, uh, a bedroom. This kitchen is going to have a little bit of a view, which is nice. This is one of the few places where you're going to see the view in the distance. Uh, the, oh, there you go, you can see mountain. Um, this was all updated, you know, a number of years ago. It's in nice shape. It's got the tumbled tile in the back and uh, granite, wood. I would say this is about a two thousand. It, it remodeled in the 2000s. I did some homes like this myself. Uh, this is the first of three bedrooms. This one has uh, a lot of nice, hey, Mark, markgps.com. Uh, a lot of uh, nice closet space. There are two windows in here, large enough for a king size bed. They have put a queen size bed in here. And I think that's where you used to come into this garage and then it would enter through this little butler's pantry area into the kitchen that made a lot of sense for the original home. So as I come from here and go across the entryway to the living room, I'm just gonna walk us all the way through and go to the bedrooms that are on the other side. So um, as I said, this is a very cute living room. It's a little dark. They don't have a whole lot of uh, lighting in here. This is all staging. So of course, it's just what it is. There are cute little windows. Everything's done with mullions. So it's, uh, it's more of a cottage feel. And um, here you can see again, the French doors going out to the backyard which is nice, the fireplace, which I don't see a gas key, so that might just be a regular fireplace. And uh, now we're gonna go to the front bedroom, which is off this little hallway here. And this is a good sized room, it's got carpet. There is tile in the rest of the home. I'll, I'll 
point that out later. We have the same windows. These were all replaced at one point, so they are double-paned windows. Nice light in here, which is great. This is a queen-size bed between the two windows. And then it's got a small uh, ensuite bath, which is, you know, it's totally sufficient. It is small, um, and you know, it could use a little bit of love, but it's cute. It's, it's a very cute little space and it's got good light, so that's kind of nice. All right, unexciting wall. <laughs> I'm gonna take you back down the hallway to the other direction. We're gonna see the hall bath first, and then we will see the bedroom, which is the primary bedroom. The door to the left is going outside to the patio, so it's another uh, patio exit door. So there's a lot of nice uh, breeziness, airiness about the house, which is great. There's a Band-Aid on the uh, ADT. <laughs> I guess it needs some, some medical care. Uh, original cabinet locations, uh, tile and mirrors are done here with a, a larger bathroom. So the hall bath has got an actual tub. The tub is original and had been painted at one point, so it's a little bit distressed. And then we have a toilet over here. Always exciting to see a toilet, I completely understand. Um, the vanity, you know, there's some water damage on here. I, I think this house was probably used as a rental at one point. I just looking at the the condition of the interior, nothing, nothing bad, nothing paint can't handle. But um, the I will say the staging is great. They did a great job. The, the Brady Sandal team did a very nice job with this. Uh, we have the original closets with storage below. These, this is you know a nice sized room, nice and tall. And this primary bed, primary bedroom is not en suite, but uh, it's going to be sharing that that bathroom down the hall. But that's really the only bedroom using that bathroom. Now I'm just going to walk you outside so that you can see the outside since. Uh, we are done with the interior and uh, we have a cool deck cover for the cement here. Uh, the plaster looks like it's in nice shape for the pool. And of course we have a beautiful view from here. All right, that's, that's it. Mark, markgps.com. If you have questions about real estate in the desert, love to help you out. Take care.